Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to prep your baits for alligator hunting. All you'll need is some Ziploc bags, some plastic disposable gloves, a nice sharp fillet knife, some alligator fishing plugs, something to pull the plugs through. And with this being our first time going out, we did some research and the main thing that came up as far as bait wise is some beef lung. So first things first, I got to get some gloves on. As far as knives go, I'm really a big fan of these Ozark uh, fillet knives. They're really cheap and if you can find them at Walmart like during the right time of year, which kind of like right after summertime when fishing's really big, you can find these for like $3 a piece. So this is what we're working with here. We got some beef lung and believe it or not, beef lung is not that hard a thing to come by. If you are interested in doing this gator hunting stuff, all you really have to do is go down to like your local butcher shop. They should have some and they don't really do anything with it so it should be cheap or free. Rule of thumb that these guys say is that you want them to be like the size of two of your fists or like two softballs, something around that size. And that's like an appropriate size piece for gator bait. For this uh, next part, this is where this tool comes into play. And all this is here is an old wire hanger we had. We cut the ends off and the one we looped around so that you could like put the plugs in and pull them through. And then the other side's a little bit bigger so that you can put your finger through that and pull the bait straight through. The shorter end, not the part that you're using for your finger, you go right through the center. See, aim for like right there, and it's super soft. It's nothing too hard. Maybe work it around a little bit. And next you're gonna wanna take these plugs. They come in packs at like somethinggator.com. You can find these. And the reason you have to use these is in the state of Florida, you are not allowed to use any kind of hook. And the idea behind this is, is that when they swallow it, it gets stuck in their throat, and that's kinda what you're using as your hook essentially. But the idea behind it is if they swallow it or whatever reason the line breaks off, the gator won't end up dying and they'll be able to pass this. So that's like the whole point of these. So now that you're at this point, this piece has the loop at the end. What you do is you take this loop and the loop you made with your wire, you hook the loop onto that one and you pull it back through the lung, just like that, super easy. When you get all the way through, that's how the bait is held on, just like that. And you can see the plug's got enough surface area, it's not going to go anywhere. So now what you want to do is since this plug's right here, when it hits the water, the bait might have a tendency to slide up, off, and if the gator bites down, he might not even get the plug at all. So what you do is you take a rubber band, you wrap it around a couple times. and you try to get it wrapped around the plug so when you throw the plug in the water that stays hooked to the bait the whole time and then as far as storing these until you're ready to use them just get a big ziploc bag you want the lung to go in first kind of plop it in like that the rest of your line right here you're just going to wrap up around your hand a little bit when you put it in the bag like this you want this to be towards the top of the bag so that when you're ready to go grab it, you don't get blood all over your hands. So it should end up looking something like that. Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful, you know, if you're trying to get out there and do some gator hunting. But this is going to be all for today's video. If this was helpful for you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, we got so much stuff here. <laughs>